okay so welcome back welcome back to caraman life um a bit tired today yesterday was a long day we went to avocat to do the mud museum for inspire tt and the day before that we had other shoots so today is our third shoot consecutively back to back and as i show you in the past vlogs these days are very long and you have to wear multiple hats one of the issues i had yesterday and i want to be able to correct that today is the fact that i wasn't able to vlog the way i wanted to um the day was very long we had a lot of traffic heading into where we had to go and um vlogging that 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 particular time was hard to be able to manage all hats but i made a commitment to continue doing it i love doing this i think this as a different outlet to be able to express myself and i want to continue doing that for you today our challenges would be time and traffic once again we have a particular amount of time to execute we're going to david singh he is actually somebody who um, builds harps and plays them and i think that will be a very interesting story and if you want to see more of that particular episode new episodes of inspire tt will be coming soon and you can check it out on facebook on youtube you'll find our links for the inspire tt page go and check it out um yeah and then also to coming into port of spain one of the thoughts i was thinking about was entrepreneurship and the entrepreneurship mindset that was one of the courses i did for the mba right now i'm currently an employee but i want to go back to thinking like an entrepreneur seeing opportunities understanding how to exploit these opportunities um i see this as an opportunity here doing this vlog um i think it's a digital nomad i think that's what i'm going to future project to become a digital nomad where i'll be able to vlog throughout the caribbean and be able to bring content to you but that's a different conversation anyway today we're going to david singh and i'll take you on that journey once again hopefully we get some other elements of what it takes in to go into the production but what prevented me from my vlog yesterday is the fact that i was thinking technical technically too much and the journey is important and being able to tell the story is important so i think that's one of the things that we're going to do today is actually set in team and what it takes to be able to tell you this these these stories on inspire tt i'll take you behind the scene on caraman life take care i'm gonna pick up auto now Equipment loaded up and well, we're on the road now. And that on your face is sweat, place hot. Okay, so five tips to dealing with heavy traffic. Time it right. Stay focused. Assume the worst. Drive defensively and take back roads. Back roads are our friends here on Cameraman Life. They can either make or break you when you're on your way to assignment and also too on the back of my mind i'm thinking what is the equipment needed to actually execute here all right so i just uh, pick up auto now we're on the way to arima to yeah. david singh auto where you expect to go happen when we reach down there now we're gonna hop <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna learn to play the hop see you next and on that topic of the hop the hop is a string instrument of very ancient lineage and it is synonymous with classical music so as usual we're trying to get the idea of what this space is like and how we're going to execute yes. so here the local hop specialist david singh walk us through the space he showed us some of his achievements and actually how he constructs his hop in this particular space What's this? This is my first drawings I ever had. Yes. I ever did. Uh -huh. Yeah, of the hop. Yeah. So this is real, real important. Having that tour is very important for us. Technically, it helps us understand the space, help us understand composition, help us understand lighting, help us understand how we're going to edit it, and how we're eventually going to put the final product together. So we're gonna tour through this space so we can understand how we're gonna actually gonna execute as I said once before. So we have one setup in the room on that side where they do construction and one setup over here for actual interviews. Also what helps us is the fact that you have some pictures to help build the story because the story you have to be able to establish in beginning, middle and end like just like any other story. So we have to kind of paint that picture. We're gonna use the pictures in order for us to tell the story what it was like before. What is like now? Where is gonna go into the future too as well? And one key element is for us understanding the space is having that conversation with David Singh here, so that we will be able to tell his story. Do right. The half could move. 
Or you don't want to move it? No, I want I want that position because if no, you, if, no, if, if the, you all start up here, uh -huh. um, the background here, the I play here because I have a... No, no, we're not, not for you to play. Oh. No, not for you to play. No, so like you physically move. You can physically move mm -hmm. so that basically you can put the half here, here yeah, yeah, and yeah. we can do the interview. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Understand? Yeah. And then after you want to play, yeah, we could do a different setup. You so do, we can do, we can do, cut, we can do cutaways that you do in this setup to help make we get more visual and make yeah. your space yeah. more. You yeah. know, like how Dal had a whole backyard. You have one, two basic, two setups, mm -hmm. and then the pictures. Yeah. So we had to think how we're gonna stretch it out so like it's still the half an hour. Yeah. 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 So I remember. So like I was yeah. telling, I was talking just now to the camera is. So the pictures are where you start, it could be one. Yeah. The actual construction yeah. could be one. Yeah. You are not to say no, it could be one. Yeah. If it is that we, we, we segment it, it could actually be you setting up the half, running out your audio and thing. So even though it, so with the interview work as a prop, but then we can actually get into how you why you setting it up the a particular way we can use it as a montage and then it could actually play. So give me an opportunity to kind of get better coverage. And then to keep continuity. Because we are also remember from our perspective of the audience. Remember they're not here. True. So they can't see. You so can we gotta give them that experience. You have to make it engaging. Because, because yeah. this is history. Yeah, you have any video in your performance? You know, well I have one playing with her. I was playing um this person too. Yeah. I have a video on that. On that right here, sir. And um I have it on, on my, uh, on my well, then if it is right here, then we could always get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So we could ask you. You might have to play more than one song. I'll play, 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 play plenty music today. Right? <laughs> okay. Because we No. No, because some, remember, like, like, like Dal, yeah. like Dal, this one had nothing else besides you, so you had to mentally prepare. This is for the long haul. This is not two minutes, this is not three minutes, this is a half an hour to 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah. And in order for us to do a good job to sell you, because what you're going to do is you're going to inspire young people to get involved in this type of music too as well. So you have to be able to put that energy for it too as well. Yeah, no, inside that. That guy sounds smarter, but really and truly, it's really simple. Just trying to understand the space and help David understand the space as well. I I used to, um, my boss sent me on a Christmas time home by him to go on. And, and and tell me that um, we went to Venezuela and we bought some records so they mm -hmm. were playing Hugo Blanco records and things like that and I was so 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 I uh, have to say so magnificent in, in that way that that I have to be touched and as you can tell David was a bit nervous so us being in the same space coexisting asking questions getting him comfortable in the space is very important to our production on inspire tt we have to be able to communicate and have a conversation that's as relaxed as we can have it some some of them all right so we just kind of have our conversation and now we kind of understand where it is we're going to execute we're going to use this space and we're going to use this space in the corner this space is where we're going to do the establishing and actually get into the interview and the other spaces for us to be able to to the process of what it takes to construct a house. I don't even hear that, but we have to pause for because the rain falling. All that's part of the corruption process. And in the interest of sound, rain, rain, and more rain, as I said, forced us to pause. But it also gave us a time to get more involved in what David does and help him with his story. Alright, so the rain kind of gave us a ease up and we have a limited amount of time. So the two challenges I told you earlier today were traffic and time. And you see, well, the rain kind of heat up so many times because we don't want to get bad audio with the raindrops falling on the roof. Audio is one aspect, video is one aspect, and you also have to be mindful of both as a presenter, as a producer, even as a cameraman. Because Good video and good audio will make good content. You can't have good content without good video or good audio. They will kind of that. And we got down to business and started shooting Inspire TT. Alright, so I just finished his segment and now my segment. Now I have to kind of clear my mind from the technical perspective, trust auto, clean the camera work. 
and now kind of bring the information as a presenter. So basically I go from who, what, why, when and how and try to immerse you in the experience, the same way I'm experiencing it, try to present that to you. So tell me how I do that job on the episode. Follow the links and you'll find the inspired the episode coming soon. So what we're doing here is just to get a, to get a low angle shot of the half. That's the kind of the angle we're going to be getting here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah? Just behind the scenes here on Caravan Life. So the next step of the process for me here is doing the B-roll. B-roll basically is like for me, I call it show and tell. So we're talking about specific items in David interview and we have to be able to have support and shots to tell you, to help tell the story. So you get to see some of his history. He was talking about where he started. So I have to get some pictures from where he started, the actual construction too as well. He have some pictures. And because of my interview, we talk about specific tools. We go and record those tools now and, and be able to intercut when we have the edit. So if you want more, I encourage you to go across to the Inspire TT page in the future and we will have David's full interview with Otto and myself featuring his instrument. I'm just giving you a little bit behind the scenes of what it took to capture this particular production. Alright, so we just got back from the shoot in Malabar. Um, yeah. So I took you behind the scenes, you saw some of the setups. Um, one thing I took is the fact that David has been working on his craft for the past 50 years. He started with an idea. Um, he actually created the tools that he wanted to use to work and also was able to create a harp because he was persistent. That's very important in life, I guess. He, um, he has definitely been an inspiration. I wish him well, I hope he does well in the future i hope we get to inspire some people out there to get and understand the harp and pick up actually playing the harp um, he's willing to teach others as well um, in terms of cameraman life today was interesting we, as i said before we get to show you some of the setups we get to show you how come how we dissect certain spaces his space was very small but we had to be able to, to shoot enough to full a half an hour program that was one of the challenges the second challenge was managing time um, actually get into the location we had a lot of traffic to get there but uh, also to the rain fell and that could affect audio so that was some of the challenges that we faced but we did overcome um, it's the end of yet another long day as you can tell it's dark now we started in light and now it's dark but that's what the production world is like that's what television is like it's, it's a lot of work uh, I know I'm giving you behind the scenes but it's very, I'm very passionate about what I do and the rewards I guess is actually interacting and being able to tell these stories and give these stories to you the wider public to, um, to look forward to and listen to. That's it from me here on Cameraman Life and um, until next time please like share and follow the content and let me get some feedback and see if we head in the right direction. Let's build the community together. Thank you once again from Mike. Take care.